a perfect evening, as we mentioned, for this first round match, second round match here, because uh, Honor Agassi had a bye in the first round, and Agassi's got that cold oh, clothing on here at the Connecticut Tennis Centre. He certainly packs them in, Vetus, this man. Uh, I, I, I tell you the truth, Fred, I, I really love doing his matches because uh, not only is he an exciting player to watch, I, I feel he's got one of the great service returns in the game, but he brings a certain electricity to the match, and you can always feel that, especially in the evenings when he plays. Current ranking number 18, he's seated four here. Highest ranking is number three. Look at that career prize money. And this year, over half a million dollars, and he's only played a few tournaments. He won the Canadian a couple of weeks ago, then uh, lost out in Los Angeles, took a week off away from the ATP championships, and now getting ready the next couple of weeks, heading into New York. Good shot of uh, Brooke Shields. Who, uh, it was interesting, the uh, music that came out, Barbara <laughs> Streisand's memories, uh, and Brooke Shields is here. Maybe that's what they just are, just memories, Fred. And uh, she looks a little more nervous than Andre does. I think Andre. she always gets a little bit nervous uh, when he plays. He seems to be into a tennis. Of course, her father or grandfather was the great Frank Shields, who was the captain of the U.S. Davis Cup team many years ago. Jan Simmering, good-looking lefty from the Netherlands, age 24, six foot one. Born in Jinsburg, the Netherlands, and of course in Monte Carlo, a lot of players uh, stay in Monte Carlo when they get off the tour now, basically for tax reasons. He's a good lefty, but he's got to be a bit nervous, I would think, coming out, uh, listening to that music and having to be the fellow walks out first, and he knows that he's going to get, that's his ranking there, 113, and his highest rank at 24. He's won over a million bucks this year, 143,000. But nervous coming out here with all that music and knowing that this crowd just love his opponent and what his opponent does for the sport. Well, Fred, we talked to him earlier, uh, Sand and your son and myself, and we we're talking about the music in between changeovers and, and during the walkout. He hates it. He yeah. really doesn't like it all. He says it, it doesn't help his concentration, but uh, I got a feeling that's the wave of the future, and I think uh, the players, whether they like it or not, better start getting used to some of that stuff. Well, he's one of the younger boys, too. I can yes. understand the, the veterans like Forge didn't like it this mm -hmm. afternoon. He's uh, 30, Lendl, and the boys that are in that 28 to 32 group, they don't particularly care for it. The younger boys seem to like it. Simmering's one of them that doesn't. He's going to start off the proceedings tonight. Agassi leads one love. The only time they've played was at the U.S. Open in the third round, and Agassi had no trouble in that match. Positive start there from Simric. I think it takes anybody a few games to get used to the lefty serve, doesn't it? That swinging serve out wide and the one down the front. The lefty seem to be able to move their serve around the box a lot better. And it always seems that every lefty that I've seen that's been a pretty good player has that real wide one that, unless you're able to come around the ball, is very difficult for the right-handers to handle. Fortunately. Andre Agassi wanted a new look from Nike. He's got all the, the stripes going, all the colors black and red and then you can see the black socks with those black and white tennis shoes well he brings you the whole package when he comes out to play tennis and you can tell by the way he walks in Fred he loves to perform it's not no. just playing the tennis he, he loves enjoys. the show he really does have fun when he comes out here to play and I think he's enjoying it even more now because he's a little fitter He's lost a little bit of weight. He was on that weightlifting kick for a while, uh, a year, a year and a half ago, and uh, I just think he's really tennis tough. Four nice return on that occasion, forcing the half volley, so it's now 40-30. Uh, one of the really great-looking motion. Very much like Roscoe Tanner. Yep. Low ball toss, gets it right at the apex, right at the top, and a quick little motion, which makes it even tougher to pick where he's going. Well, Simmering, nice, easy first, first service game leads it. One game to love, opening set. The crowd starting to take their seats here this evening after the first service game. They've been out at the uh, hospitality tents, a very popular place for the corporate folks here.
And also, Thank obviously, you, with Agassi playing tonight, there's a bit of a backup in the parking. Fifteen laps. Agassi's coach for the last five or six months, Brad Gilbert. for tomorrow night's match, hopefully, and he'll be going to give you a little bit more of an insight into his man, Andre Agassi. Tonight, he's got to be down there at courtside looking after his charge. 30-15. Well, Brad, who is known as a very scrappy player, admitted to winning ugly at times. At if, times. At, <laughs> okay, at all times. I was being kind. <laughs> but, uh, he's a good friend, but uh, he doesn't mind with admitting that. What do you mean admitting? He wrote a book on yeah. winning ugly. But if some of that real toughness of dread rubs off on Andre, I think that'll just make him a better player. Likes a target to hit to Agassi. Yeah, and he, he gets he prepares as well as anybody in the game. Gets it straight back, drives straight through the ball. Very athletic. Watch him get over to it. Sets up so quickly. The racket's back. Very tough if you're coming into net to tell whether he's going to go down the line or cross court. But that's his favorite, the one down the line. One game all, first set. He moves so quick when he gets that return back. He gets into terrific position in a hurry. That's the key word. Gets into terrific position right away. He moves those feet so quickly, and he never misses the easy ones, Fred. That's the ones, the ones in the middle of the court. Those are the ones that are so important because those are the ones you have to make. Exactly. Agassi, even in the second game, starting to read the Simmerink serve. He was, he'd moved out to that one with a two-handed backhand. He read the ball toss. That would have to be one of the reasons why he also returns her so well. He must see the ball so clearly, so much earlier than, than most of the players because uh, he gives it a rip every time. And when he returns, he's not blocking the ball back. He's taking a good full shoulder turn and rotating through. And that's what amazes me. 30-15. This court playing a little slower, according to the players, than the uh, outside courts. volley there. They've resurfaced all 22 courts here at the Connecticut Tennis Center. That's a big job, but they had some good weather. Now, this is not a bad play, Fred, to, to use against Andre Agassi because he's waiting for the ball after a good return to come back sort of high and deep. That short drop volley is a good way to sort of break up his rhythm. And he comes up with an ace. So Simmerink now leads two games to one first set. Probably the most popular man in our sport today, Andre Agassi. One of the biggest draw cards in the business, anyway. 2-1, 15 left. Andre seems really juiced up because he's grabbing the ball, running right up to the service line, ready to serve. He usually plays at a pretty fast clip, but today it just seems even even quicker to get out there and get started. <laughs> you can't teach somebody to hit that kind of shot, Fred. No, and he loves it. The crowd love it. I mean, a pretty good approach shot, but Andre couldn't tell whether it was going in or out. He said, okay, let me just take it in the air, hit a low shoe top, topspin winner. That one a little wide. That last shot from Simmerink, if uh, Agassi had let it bounce, it would have been a darn good approach shot. It would have been just inside the baseline. Agassi always plays around that baseline area. He's inside a yard when he took it. Yeah, Game to Agassi. Agassi now evens things up to two games apiece. And Fred, you bring up the point where Andre Agassi stands when he's hitting ground strokes. 
I love that type of gro uh, ground stroker because he's right on top of the baseline. Not only is he hitting the ball hard, but because he's taking it on the rise, it's coming back to you even faster. So he re you really seem rushed when you're playing a guy like Agassi. Amity's 94 season, Agassi winning at Scottsdale after recovering from a wrist injury that kept him out for quite a long time. He was even surprised at that result. He went there to get some match play, win a couple of matches, but he ended up winning the tournament. And then uh, another win just last month, and you may have watched that with us on ESPN when he took out the Canadian Open, defeating Australia's hot player at the moment, Jason Stoltenberg, in the final. That he loved. Tough service motion to pick up where he's going to go. He's equally good at swinging it out wide, and that time with the same motion, just pops it straight down the tee. Same motion there. Oh, it's right there. So. And it's only 95 miles an hour, so you gotta, it's got to yeah. be disguised really well, and the, the accuracy has to be pretty good because Andre Agassi gets to a lot of balls when it comes to returning serve. 40 left. Another big first serve, so Simmering stays in front and leads it three games to two in the first set. I guess he really hit him with a lot of topspin on that uh, forehand into Simmering's backhand, forcing him to slice, not allowing him to come over the ball. 15 love. This court was a little slower, Peters, and uh, when he's gone for a couple of his passing shots, he's made a couple, but that one he was out just a fraction early, and that's because of the slower pace of the court. It'll take him a while to get used to it. 15.30. Frank, you mentioned the resurfacing of the courts. When they do that, that they add a little bit of sand, make the surface a little bit rougher, that will slow down the ball, friction between the ball and the court, which makes it bite and check up. So that's a service break to Simmering early in this match. Four games to two now, Simmering with the break. Well, we said Agassi's been running around in a hurry, a very worried Brad Gilbert there. He does not expect Agassi to lose this match. That was a bit of a sloppy game from, it was. from Andre. A couple unforced errors. And... 50 roll. And you know, when Brad Gilbert watches something like this, it's got to drive him nuts because you know, he was so intense, yeah, he tried he's so hard, guy, and you yeah. know, it just, you know, he didn't like losing a point. And uh, whereas Andre's much more casual, much more free-flowing in his game. And... That one's long. I just felt in that last service when yeah. Agassi was trying to Sucks. test the waters and fiddle around and experiment. Well, very difficult these days to go out and play matches and experiment. 30 love. And as we mentioned, Simmering's a tough uh, customer. If he gets a serve and volley game going on this type of court, he can be very tough. Nine unforced errors, you know, already just in six games. Go! And one wide. from Jan Simmering. He extends that lead now to five games to two. 
5-2 Jan Simrik, and we talked about the fact that Jan Simrik didn't like the music between changeovers. That changeover there, Paulo Pereira was given a real mouthful by Andre Agassi. He said it's really embarrassing having to listen to music at the changeovers. Agassi letting a few things bother him at this stage. Well, he doesn't seem very settled right now. Uh, he's, he's made a couple silly errors, uh, sloppy service break. I think that's one of the, and we've talked about it before, one of the reasons why he hasn't been as consistent as, as his talent level is, has been his concentration. Uh, at times, he, he has difficulty motivating himself. 40, love. But he's down 115 mile an hour that first serve. Down a break though. 14, 15. Well, I'm sure he hasn't practiced much on this one at all on this uh, center court. It is a different bounce. Big first serve there, so Agassi holds. But he's still in a big hole. Down a break. 5 3. Simmerink will serve for the opening set. Simmerink's a little uptight, and Agassi's got to make him play a couple. Make the returns. Love 50. serves returns in the game. Andre Agassi's a foot inside the baseline. Look at how quickly he gets the racket back, how quickly he prepares, how quickly he turns through the ball. Love 30. Andre Agassi off a good service return has worked a couple times for Jan Simmering tonight. And the reason it does is because it takes away all the angle for Andre Agassi. He really doesn't have the wide forehand or the wide inside out forehand out to Simmering. And that gives Jan a chance to put the next volley away. Well, lucky to get out of that one. Agassi a little upset with himself. Very lucky. He didn't put enough stick on that high volley giving Andre's, uh, Andre Agassi a chance for the open court, but a little bit late. 30 all, serving for the set. Well, that's great. Uh, okay. A little bit of finesse. Beautiful. To to set point. We're seeing a little finesse yes. on the deuce tonight. That doesn't get any nicer than this. He tries to fool Andre Agassi, kicking it out to the forehand. That's one of the toughest volleys to execute. Got to take a little bit of the pace off. You got to have the soft hands. You got to have the angle. Well, a big surprise here on the deuce. As Jan Simmering takes the first set against the number four seed on Agassi, six games to three. A surprise, as we mentioned in the opening set here, with the number four seed Andre Agassi losing it six games to three. Stay tomorrow night, second round action. The number one seed here, Michael Steek, takes on Marcelo Rios tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. North Coast, and it'll be live.
Joining us for some guest commentary here on the Deuce tonight is one of the Jensen brothers. <laughs> Luke, where's Murphy? Couldn't he find his way up here? Well, lost his know, way? We've been calling him Earth to Murph, Earth to Murph, but he's not around. <laughs> come in, please. Come That's in, please. Right. How's it going? It's going great. Thanks Good. for having me. Oh, always a pleasure. 40 love, 40-15. Uh, a bit of a surprise the first set there, Luke. Well, Jan's been playing really well. We played last night on center court, so he's got that one match under his belt. And Andre, this is right off the shoot. Right off the what? Right off, right off the bat. I oh, mean, right off the shoot. Right oh, off the oh, shoot. Okay. I'll translate between you to Fred. And the <laughs> Great shot. Agassi loses the first set, but he hits the front in the second. It's one game to love. Well, if you like rock and roll tennis, rock and roll doubles, have a go at these two dudes here. Murph signing autographs. What about you, Luke? He looks as though he signs more than you. Yes. <laughs> I think I had to pay somebody off to get this on camera. Now back to center court here. Discussion going on with Gail Bradshaw, the referee. Andre Agassi does not like the music between changeovers. He has asked for the music to be turned off. It's not an ATP rule here, but it is uh, something that they're trying here at the championship to try and get more fan involvement with it. And I know it was one of your suggestions there, uh, Luke, but uh, some of the boys just don't like it. They say it's very difficult to concentrate the changeover. I can definitely see how he doesn't like it. Simmerink uh, and I were playing doubles last night out here, and Simmerink was getting pumped. I mean, instead of sitting there being bored, people were playing air guitars, actually getting into the music. Nice. And obviously, Simmerink's going for it right now. He's caught. So yeah. what you think on the whole, I mean, the players are worth giving it a try, you know, if it's if it's something that'll attract a little more fans and uh, a little more tickets, response? That's right. The, that's the right. fans want it. The, they got it in basketball and all the other sports. We've got to get with the times. We're in the 90s. Are you still in the 90s, you and Murph? Are you still there? Are you got, yeah? We're on you another got, planet, I think. <laughs> still heading on high, eh? <laughs> that's right. High octane. Yeah. Well, I think here's a situation if Andre was, you know, winning the match, there wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, but uh, Simric doesn't like it either. He's expressed uh, his displeasure with it. He doesn't like it. He's, uh, he might have played doubles last night, but he doesn't like it as far as concentration. He's going to make it same oh. as well. Well, that's surprising. I mean, he was getting fired up and, uh, you know, again, pointing at the people in the crowd, and I mean, that's surprising. And uh, this afternoon, U4J mm -hmm. lost that match this afternoon, and uh, he said, well, we only need a couple of uh, bears and a couple of get Mickey Mouse out here, and we've got the circus. He didn't like it at the changeover. So yeah. you guys are going to have some opposition with that. Well, if we talk to any of the winners, and we got 4J, <laughs> and <laughs> we got Andre, he's, he's in trouble. Yeah. It's 30-15. Zoran's been hitting that volley right back at Agassi, and even though he was past that time, it's been working pretty well for him. He's been jamming him and hasn't given him. Andre loves a target, and he loves it when you've sort of gotten him out wide, where he can either top it cross court or bang it down the line. Going back to your days with Wendell. Cut off, cut off the angle. Cut off the angle. Middle. Right down the middle. That's Except I wish serve. I could serve like that. There you go. <laughs> that, he's got a great action. Oh, yeah, just like uh, Tanner. Um, these guys are awesome. You know, low toss. You can't read it. He hits the corners. That's Vitas's line. You've been watching this telecast down there, and you heard him <laughs> say that, didn't you? <laughs> he just wanted to make me feel good. Really, a lefty Kevin Curran. Huh? Huge serve. Big, you know, good second. Gets in tight. Oh, very nice. Uh, very nice. It's funny you should mention Kevin Curran, because, Fred, he would be as close to a righty serving like a lefty yeah. that's played the game. Oh, he gets in tight, 
and Simmerich has already committed himself up a little bit, weight forward, and then he just drops the head of the racket. Watch it come right low. Oh, really low, and just whips straight up on the ball. What a risk these guys. Yeah, and it just dives straight down into the court. Deuce. Yeah. That angle forehand volley. Twice on big points. That got him to set point in the first set, and now takes him to game point here. 100 mile an hour on the IBM speed gun there, and that serve. That's huge. Another one. That. So an ace from Simmerick. I have it unofficially as number five. So it's now one game all. Hey, listen, I hate to bring it up, Luke, but uh, today, wild card into the singles. God, what, what happened? I played the best player on the planet today. You did? <laughs> <laughs> this guy just got off the boat from somewhere, and he played out of his mind. What do you mean, uh, off the boat? Uh, who did you play? Uh, I played a Bjorkman from oh. Sweden. Yeah, well, he's one of the top doubles players in the game, just top like doubles, you. Well, top, yeah, he's also a top double, a singles player out of Sweden, and one of their best. And I was serving staying back. He hit winners. I served him ball. He hit winners. There's Winnerama out there. Hey! It's now 15 all. And just like Cliff Drysdale, he's always running a little bit late. We've been joined now by the other half of the Jensen's. Murph, you found your way up. Yeah, I, uh, I was Did you have to ask too many, how many people have to ask? To I was picking it? up the pieces of Luke's match today. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh that hurt. Oh, oh, excuse me, let me get the spear out of my neck. I want to see his partner kick some butt. <laughs> You can see you don't, you don't have to play good doubles by liking each other. You can, they, they've just disproven that. <laughs> oh, oh, he tried it just one too many times. You can make that one when you've got time. That was a very difficult shot. Agassi kept that one down low with a fair amount of pace on the shot. That running forehand of Agassi's, I mean, that's just danger. That's trouble for anybody. 40-15. That's a good spare, you know, way to mix it up. 40-15, you know, you still got another game point. Keep simmering on his, you know, on his heels a little bit. Don't let him chip it in back into play. Oh, wow. yes. Well, Simmering moves very well to get to that one, but Agassi holds tight. He now leads in the second set, two games to one. He lost the first. Well, smile, boys, because you're you're on camera there. And, uh, hey, Mom! Murph, Murph, is that why you went to school? You got your cap on tonight, Yale? <laughs> yeah, I went to Yale you're for three uh, years. You're not Yale material. Three years? <laughs> what yeah. did you learn? Did you do anything at Yale? I was in janitorial services. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, is there? <laughs> it's a living. You it's just right. That's right. Everyone needs a plumber. <laughs> I do. The original Back to Grunge the Brothers. Now on centre court, and it's 2-1 uh, to Agassi. Simmons right won the first set. 56 games to three, and they're on serve. Second round action here, live on the deuce. Andre looks pretty grungy out there at the Black Sox. He's got, he's got, a, he's always got a different look. Where did he get that look? I wonder. I think he stole those socks out of your locker. <laughs> Great shot. I mean, does anybody else stand in tighter to the baseline than Andre Not since Connors. Not since Connors. Right here. Look where he's moving forward. Bam! Not a big, heavy swing. Meets the ball, center of the strings, winner. Violation. I don't think Agassi meant to hit that ball. He's, uh, as far as his fans are concerned, he loves him, but that one just went over the top of the fence. He definitely meant to hit it, but... Yeah, <laughs> right up there. 30-15. Oh, that... Oh. Great down the liner, but answered even better, huh? you got to really like the way he's playing. There's that running forehand. Here he goes. Oh, man, this is coast boom, to boom, coast. Boom, 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 and boom, boom. Answers boom. with the forehand volley. Should have gone cross court. <laughs> Good thinking. <laughs> Good thinking, man. Where's my kind of guy? Yeah, yeah. 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 Why did you go cross court? I love that. Hey, you can be up here anytime. We second guess everybody all day. <laughs> wow. Nice. 
Just to let you know about the code violation, it's an automatic if the player hits the ball outside the confines of the court, if it goes up in the stands, and that one went over the top there, and so it's an automatic code violation. Next time that happens, it's a point penalty. Oh, we just missed. So game two, Simmering. The score in the second set at two games all. Okay, let's see if we can get the A-train going here. You know, it's two all. He's got to make his movie. He made a couple of good returns. Got unlucky because uh, Simmering shanked some volleys. But he's got to hold serve here. Come on, Punisher. I know he likes that name, the Punisher, but who, who coined that phrase for him? Who gave it to him? Johnny Mack. I mean, this guy, of course, you know, he runs the guy coast to coast. Look at this match update. First serve percentage, Simmering way up there. Agassi, 71. Wow. You expect Agassi to have a pretty high first serve percentage because he spins a few more of those in. That's Simmering right. takes a little bit more of a risk, doesn't he, on his first serve? And he really has to, like that first point. He had a second serve. Simmering came in, missed the pass. Should have let that bounce. Well, he made that earlier in the match. 15:30, danger time here. The Dutch boy, man, he's got his wooden shoes on. He's ready to bring in the windmill. Andre's still going to be tough to beat. He returned so well. Oh, well, he's hurts. in trouble now. Double fault. Give Simrick now two break points. And he's ahead of set. Great eye. Great eye. Got the approach nice and deep on Simmering's backhand. Simmering doesn't like to come over that backhand. Just sailed it long. This Still in trouble. the uh, preparation that Agassi wanted here. He's the number four seed here. He needs the match play going into the open. 107. That's a fast serve. That's a big serve. That's the top players do that. Lendl's done it. Everyone does that. When they need the big serve, they can come up with it. Brooke Deuce. looking a little nervous. She was that way in our softball game the other day. Oh, really? She was nervous even at the, oh, during the yeah. softball game. Uh, Andre is throwing in some weak pitches. <laughs> <laughs> but he looked like he had a pretty good swing. A great swing. Uh, but he, he was trying to hit the long ball every time, and we, our team got down 8-2, and Luke started the rally with a home run, and I backed him with another home run. Hey, you guys. I don't like to boast brag, ourselves, brag, but brag. We're, the, we're the team. <laughs> <laughs> a plug or what? Great yeah, serve. Yeah. Awesome. Well, he got himself out of, see out of trouble. He was down two break points in this service game, recovered, now leads three games to two. Agassi very quickly in a position. He's down 3-2. He leads 3-2 in the second set. This is what the boys are playing for this week. 152 and a half thousand bucks to the winner. 280 points. They're on down. 80,000, 42, 22. Boy. All the way down to 3,200. And that's what Luke got for losing today. Yeah, but Sorry about that, Luke. $52,000. They yeah. blew it, man. 50-50. <laughs> Murphy wants half my prize money. Can you believe that? He should get it. I can't Great. believe they gave you a wild card into the tournament. They didn't was, give Murph a wild card. He was in the cheering for my you know, opponent. I, I, yeah, I wouldn't have were, gotten. Uh, I thought you were a team. Penalized. If you've got a team, you've got to play as a team all the way through, not just you know when it's right. you. Right, right, huh? Fred. I'm, I'm, I agree yeah. with you. <laughs> Huge ace. Another Huge ace there from Simmering. Big. 15 all. Yeah. I mean, this is as good as I've seen him play in a while. I know he's played steadily this year, but... Uh, he's learned a lot because he's playing with Luke in the doubles here. Murphy, you're having a week off, eh? Yeah, uh, I uh, got into a little trouble. I didn't Oh, hit that's a, right. Yeah, I heard about it. I didn't hit a yeah. fan with a ball, but I <laughs> offended a chair umpire. <laughs> so you've got to offend so those guys from Australia. <laughs> yeah. Those Aussies are rough. Well, well, they stand, they're very they touchy. Up to they're very touchy. Yeah, he was drunk. <laughs> Now, now, Murph. Sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great shot. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, look at this. That forehand volley is a weapon out there. Listen, I just got to go back there. You got the Australians are very touchy about their drinking. Here's replay, guys. Backhand volley. Reaches. Oh, it's awesome. Three times so far. 
It's more like 15, a cat in that. Seriously, though, after this point, look, uh, you're playing doubles with him, and uh, you enjoy that? Um, uh, can he take uh, the, the chest butts and the, and the, and the high fives? Double fault. We practiced this afternoon on exactly that. We've got the chest butt down. Um, yeah. I have to tone it down because Murphy's, you know, a he man. Yeah. You know, he's he's a he's an athlete, and you know, you know, Jan, you know, he's that European. He likes a little finesse in his high fives. So you have a finesse high five. That's right. A little low five. And Still game point, Simri. Oh, just Looking right on the call. Game. Right on the line. No call from Paolo Pereira in the chair. So it is now three all. Look at this. This is a Dutch treat. Look at that. Right on the line. See, I mean, this is going to frustrate Agassi. I mean, the guy's has chances. He's love 15 here and just got unlucky. Man, Simrick is hitting all the right shots. He's shaking his head like he's a little lucky on that. Or it wasn't a real solid ball. No, it wasn't. <laughs> he, yeah. he framed it a bit. and yeah. uh, Well, you bought the frame. you got to use it. That's right. That's well, when things are going your it. way. I heard you never hit a uh, unclean shot in tennis I, I pretty much did. I really. But I, but I also hit it 10 miles an hour. So it was pretty <laughs> tough to miss hit him. <laughs> yeah, the cat gut going. Yeah, that's, that's really it. Cut. A little headed racket. You know, <laughs> hey. Great eye, great eye. See, that was very cool back then. Now it'd be a no. little racket, little exactly. flat strokes. Yeah, he had the just conventional cool. strokes, the classic strokes. That's you right. guys can't remember back that far. Here we go, 40 low. He's got to close it out. 4-3 lead. Four off the frame, so that made it a very short return, and uh, Simmering was all over it. 40 15. I was saying before, I really think this court's playing a lot like the U.S. Open for the first time in a couple of years. That one's long, so Agassi keeps his head in front. It's 4 3, second set. A perfect evening for second round action here at the Volvo International, Connecticut Tennis Center, Yale University. This man, the number four seed, is in trouble. He lost the first set 6-3, leads four games to three in the second set. I'm Fred Stolley, along with Vitas Gerolaitis and the Murphy bro, with Murphy Jensen and Luke Jensen. I'll get it right in a minute, guys. It's showtime now. I mean, you got four and three. Andre's up returning. This is where he's going to shine. He's going to put it into another gear. Get that Ferrari rocket. They've added a little uh, candle power to the lights here this year. They had some complaints last year that the lights were just quite not up to standard. It's perfect conditions tonight, though. There's the grip with some corner grip on that one so that when he sweats and that shows you a good look at that western grip he has on the forehand. Boom. That's a great shot. Right at him. I think it's a great play. I mean, if, if Simmering's going to really cut his angles off by volleying and serving down the middle and into his body, return right at him. Hit your passing shots right at him. So you get your opening. If he's That's doing right. it to you, bang it, especially if you got that kind of power. How many I times have we seen Simmering dive and lunge for great volleys? Wow. And then he opens up the down the line. All right, I think he's in about third gear right now. 15. And when he's on a roll, he passes as good as anybody in the game. And I love the fact that he's right on the baseline. He just gets the shoulder turned back and it'll like a pistol, boom, right down the middle. Big trouble for Jan. 15, 30. No, I would go to the backhand. No way. Go down the pipe. Go to the forehand. Make him hit the big shot with the big swing. At least down the T-bone. Pull it back. Oh, you, you gotta hit a better volley. Yeah. Than that. I mean, it was right there. Murphy called it. He got a weak return. Got to stick that volley, babe. Murphy sort of knew what he was talking That's about. Right. There, come into the Body forehand. forehand. Look at that. You should have stuck it. He's got to make him hit a forehand or at least a uh, passing shot on the run. 
Two That's break points great. now. He's down low, accelerates. His best nice. shots is back in. 15 40. He's taking a shot. Big trouble now. Second serve. Look for the big double. No. Andre's going to step in and let it ride. Great serve. That was a good return. Agassi kept it low. Ball spun off the side of the racket, so Agassi breaks. Here and now leads five games to three. Agassi leads five three. Five games to three. Agassi now a chance to get this match all squared up. The fans are getting into it. This is great. Side to side, just grinding him in one corner, opening up to his forehand side for the air. He got that after beating Becker for the eighth time, I think. That's right. It was so almost not quite the sky hook, the color sky hook, but it was the windmill. Watch, he'll come back. He sees it, but he's. He, it Air was time. showtime. Ow. Yeah, there that's nice. 360 in the air. I give him a 10. Old. That's a 10. That was. Form was good. That's right. Just didn't execute no, the shot. No, 9 5 because he missed the shot. I can dance to it. The ball is a little bit. These Wilsons taking off just a the hair. There's no wind in there, I don't think. Dead. Yeah, it's it is dead, yeah. Still. And this is the kind of conditions you want to play at. You know, well, evening simmering and a good light. Simmering Perfect. does, for sure. The colder it gets, the slower it's going to get out there, and that's going to favor Andre a lot. That's right. Pick that serve very early, simmering to try and get the break back, get it into the net. It's now 30 all. That was a good approach shot. Lots of heavy slice on that. It stays this is low. A big point. Brought up a huge point. The miss hit by Agassi, so it's now a break point for Simmering to get back into this second set. Touch boys. Finesse overhead. Look how he sets this up. The Punisher's just a man. Huge serve. Sets up the weak return. Bam! With the forehand. It's all over, baby. Up, Good night. Up and away. now at set point. Andre's asking Brooke if it was out. She's saying, <laughs> of course it was out. Beach definitely saw it was out. Well, we knew he would call it out. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Oh, she's so nervous. <laughs> she can't look. She's so tired. <laughs> Great serve, great serve. Well, Simmerick did it all for him. Didn't make him play anything, so Agassi evens this match up. It's one set apiece, winning the second set. Gorgeous evening here at the Connecticut Tennis Center on the grounds of Yale University here for the Volvo International. This is second round action. And they've had some bad weather earlier in the week. Oh, this is good. Telephone, hang on. You know, you know between games, just a little, a little singing. And in between games, he's just not happy with that music. He wants it to cut off. And they even got a cellular phone in there for Andre Agassi. I didn't call him. 
Now Simmering saying, well, if you're going to have the music, I'm okay. Why should we change it? So uh, a bit of a debate going on here. Simmering starts off the third set. Put fault goal. It was a fault anyway. Great serve. Right into the body. That's second. He's got to get off to a good start. He's got to win this first game. He just got railroaded at 4-3. I'm telling you. I think Andre realizes he needs to get up early because he doesn't want to be playing catch-up. You know, 1-2 or 0-1 serving uh, uphill all the time. Third Server like this when it gets dark, just like Borg had lots of problems at the opening against Tanner. He, he hated playing lefties, period. He really didn't enjoy playing lefties, and, and he didn't like Roscoe at night. That was like the curse for Bjorn. You fellas, when you get into a third set, would you like to serve first, stay in front, or would you prefer to be that? I'd rather play serve first. I want to have that advantage up, and you're playing, you've already played two sets. Grand Slam already four sets. I mean, you don't, you're not cold. You're ready to rock. 13, 15. Good first serve. Sticks his first volley cross court, which is kind of a scary shot because he leaves too much open for him. Great top spin loft. If he's going to volley that one cross court, he's got to stick it. Andre's been going down a lot. They're running forehand. And does he look like he's moving a little bit better? Like he's lost a little bit of weight, a little bit fitter? Is, is, no the question. players picked up on that? Oh, yeah. He's, look at how he's covered. Look at this. Da -da 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 -da. Bam. Because, listen, guys, we always hear about Andre. You know, he's a little more focused. He's been working on his game. But, I mean, do the players sort of believe that he's been working a little bit harder? Yeah, you can see it. You can mm -hmm. see it in his body and his uh, physique. He's a lot thinner. He's not carrying the weight. I don't think he was carrying before. Taco Bell stock has been going down. Yeah, so. that's... No it's runs to the border. Good indicator right there. Well, Jan Simmering, he's not worried about the Taco Bell. All he's worried about is he leads one game to love. This is what the fans came out here to see tonight. Andre Agassi was in trouble the first set, lost it with a service break, 6-3. Came back, won the second. And now, start of the third. Stadium is packed. Ooh. Is that where Bjorkman came from? Uh, yeah. That's where Murphy came from. <laughs> he was a little late into the booth. Earth to Murph, Far, baby. far away. <laughs> That's why I got him into trouble this week. I, they said I was shooting in the room. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, <Jim> did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay. It was just the mouth, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what you trouble, so. Speaking of trouble, here we go, 15-30. Morris Gump says you well. can't get any trouble. Quickly getting off the subject. <laughs> <laughs> Second serve now, Simring. It's got to come in. Trip and charge, baby. Way into the net, hesitated, and went back. Had he continued on, he looked at a pretty high backhand volley, an easy one. Went to the back of the court, lost in the rally, and it's 30 all. That was a great second serve. It's a big opportunity for Jan Simmerink. Whenever he gets a 30 all on a guy like Andre Agassi in the third set, he's got a big opportunity. Double ball. So, dug a bit of a hole for himself here, Agassi. A break point opportunity for Simmering early in the third. We'll see if he tries to rush Agassi a little bit more than on this point. Ooh, big opportunity. Second serve, it. break point. Oh, 
That's it. Well played point there wow. from Simrink on that second serve. He put the pressure on Agassi and Agassi puts his hand to his mouth and says a few words. His group look on, but it is Simrink now. Early break in the third set. Two games to love. Brooke's not happy. I mean, she gets tight anyway. She looks he's... fantastic, though. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure she'd be happy Murphy's to hear you say that. Murphy's always hitting the approach shots. It's unbelievable. <laughs> but does he get passed? That's all I oh, want to know. It's just a passing machine. <laughs> Well, the big game now is right here because once you get that service break, you've got to consolidate the position and your opponent wants to break back immediately. That's what Agassi has to do here or he's in a lot of trouble at three love. Shank turned the back end there. Simmering served that one right in the body. A good serve. Simmering's moved pretty well today. He had arthroscopic surgery just a couple of months ago, and uh, unlike Forget, who looked a little tender on his knee, even though his was uh, damage was a little bit more extensive. He was saying he hadn't been practicing too much because of the injury. He's been doing more weight training and tennis ball hitting. A very positive game here from Young Simmering. 40 love. Well, this is just an uphill battle now for the Punisher. I mean, this is, he gets down 03, we're looking at a long road. Service game for Janssen. He races away to a three games to love lead. Final set. Agassi still complaining here at the Connecticut Tennis Center about the music and the changeovers. He's down three love in the third set. Saturday on the deuce, it's Canadian football action as the Edmonton Eskimos visit the Sacramento Gold Miners. That's Saturday, 3.30 p.m. Eastern, right here on the deuce. Legacy winning the first point at service game, 15 love. Kicked that one in at 89 mile an hour, didn't have much That's on right. that at all. He just doesn't want Simmering, you know, breathing down his neck, chipping the charge. Here we go. Swedish. That's awesome. He's Greek. Andre's <laughs> Greek. This is the shot, Murph. Swedish. He kept the pressure on. That's all Young can do at this point. Oh, oh that's a stone. Oh, 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 there's a moon ball. If that goes out, that's a point. That's right. <laughs> I think he made pretty, pretty good sure that it was going straight up to the air. That last one, he sort of thinned the seven iron. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh. Smash and crash, baby. Forty up. It's working. service game there for Agassi in the third set so he was on the board but it's this young man Jan Simmering who has the advantage all Jan can do now is just keep going for it he's up the break he wants to hold on here there's a big one they're all big but after he got the 3-0 uh, lead for himself he's just got to go for it both these fellows the same age 24 years of age both born within a couple of weeks of one another in April of 1970 Just missed. Oh, that, yeah, I was, I was going to say pretty good eye, but uh, <laughs> it was better than that. That's right. I don't know if I would have been quite that nonchalant. I missed by Who's it. older, Fred? Simmering is older by a couple of weeks. Wow. Experience. Yes. Take it over. <laughs> I think a good thing to realize right now is uh, from playing doubles with him last night, he doesn't like going down the middle or in the ad side and going wide in the deuce side. He likes to throw that one right into the backhand of Andre or the body. Oh. There you go. There's that wide one. Andre can just sit on that backhand, look for the body or the wide. Give him the forehand. Almost remember when Arthur Ashe played uh, Johnny Mack in the Masters, way back when John was just starting, he used to give Mack the, down, the forehand uh, serve and just sit on that backhand until Mack developed that one. 30 love. Back 
down, two-handed backhand, so Simring extends that lead now to 40, love. Official scoreboard there has gone on the blink on center court. That's the winners and unforced errors. 27 well, winners from Simring, 18 to Agassi. And the errors have been more from the Agassi racket. I think it's because Simmering's putting so much pressure on him, serving and volleying, chipping and charging in that first serve. Down the line on that occasion, we mentioned they only played once before, and that was in the 92 US Open, as we watch Agassi hit the passing shot, the return down the line, but that match Agassi won very convincingly in the third round. Look how he just frees and goes through the path of the ball, early backswing, Great serve. Another great serve there from Simric, an ace. And he now extends that lead. Four games to one, final set. The Volvo International is there an upset in the making? Jan Simric leading Andre Agassi, the number four seed here this week. Four games to one, final set. A long road home now, boys. Yeah, I mean, he's got a... Andre, you know, has got an uphill battle, but Jan, I mean, still, it's only one break. 4-1 looks a long way, but he holds here. Oh, that's pretty. Wow! Agassi threads the needle on this one, and Simrink is keeping the pressure on by just chipping and charging and saying to Agassi, if you're going to win this match, you've got to hit a lot of good shots, similar to this one. That's right, and he didn't hit it as hard as he could. He just rolled it over. It's perfect. Great shot. Andre's got to realize that he can't just sit back and let Jan just take shots at him. You know, Andre's got to, you know, make something happen himself if he's going to win this match. Great point. 30 up. Oh, oh tip and charge again. He knows that Agassi, when he makes that shot, if it's a deep approach, is way behind the baseline, so he just dropped that one over the net. A bit of a miss hit volley, but paid dividends. 30 15 now. This would be a big point in this game if you're looking at big points. Oh, Jan almost made a mistake there, volley right back to Andre. But here we go again, it's 30 off. Jan's just putting so much pressure on Andre, Andre doesn't know what to do with it. He's going to serve a little bigger or uh, come out of the blocks a little quicker. We'll get a first serve in. Oh, yeah. Oh, now that, that's grease. Grease lightning. Oh, my God. Just remember that one because... Uh, just a couple of points here and there can turn matches around. That would have been a great point if it had hit the top of the tape and stayed back. This misses an easy forehand. He no often really. see him miss that one. Earlier in the match, he was climbing all over the top of that. I'll tell you, the conditions sure do change from when you start this match at 7 to now because the ball's really heavy. You can't feel the ball as well. There you go. Stone forehand volley. He doesn't like being up there. Andre's going to be in a world of hurt if he doesn't pull this game out. I think he's going to be a world of hurt if he if he loses this match. What do you think this will do to him as far as the Open's concerned? Answer that after this one. Goodbye. Well, I think, first of all, it all depends how he views it. I mean, if, if he does go down, he's got to bust his butt for the next couple of weeks before the Open. He's just got to fight in a match play, though. That's right. Match play, that's true. This, you can make a million dollars. There's only one guy in the game who can just do this. But I thought he sold most of it for a little more than a million. He pushes yeah. him out yeah. after about a four-ball rally, and he puts it away. Boom. No chance. So it's a game point now. Agassi now with a second serve. Come 
He's into it. Now, there we go. The crowd should pump him up a little bit. All right, here we go. Right off the ground. Quick acceleration. Step, boom. Yeah. It is a timing yeah. shot. Look at him. He's into it. The crowd's into it. I can see it in about. his eyes. Big game here now for Simmering. The seventh game of the third and final set. He's kept the pressure on Agassi up to this stage. Either Murphy or Luke have headbutted him at all. He, he's, he's not here. He's gone down to do the interview. They haven't knocked him out in the uh, commentary. You're here. all by yourself I'm now, buddy. I'm here with buddy. you guys now. I'm You're in, in trouble. trouble. That's right. Here we go. Yin and yang. <laughs> it's all balance. 15 luck. It's a great serve. Tough serve yeah. right down the tee. That's what you guys were talking about earlier. Go down the tee. Make him hit the big shot if he's going to win it. That's right. Go to the T-bone. Got to go for it. Keep the ball right in the center of the court. Wow. Huge. I mean, that's Peyton the line. That's a Dutch boy paint job. Look anyway, this moves around as it swings away. Look, it breaks away. That's my favorite yard. serve right there. You don't have that. Man. I have that serve. Murph, I've seen uh, Murph hit that one a couple of times. Just 40 love. On the moon. Another one. Two, two, aces. two aces in a row. That's three big first serves here. Simmering now leads it. Five games to two. Third set. Capital T spells trouble here for the number four seed, Andre Agassi. The winner of this match goes into the next round to play the winner of Goldner and Raul. So it's a pretty good draw for somebody that's looking to get in some good form before the US Open. New balls now. Agassi serving to stay in the match. casual oh my god that's a big point he's got new bullets do not try this at home he is a professional he's got the casual forehand volley i'm gonna put it down your throat just kidding back to the action great shot winner here we go the punisher in top form right now he really needs to be if he's going to pull this thing out well, i think uh, simmerink's just quite prepared to chip and charge here take his licks and then hope that he can serve it out for the match the crowd wants to see a comeback you can just feel it Kind of missed in the third set. I mean, so close to the line, he's making every single one. That's a good play, and uh, we've often talked about it. Hey, if you've got a game plan, stick with it. If you miss a couple or you get passed a couple of times, you still got to stay with that game plan. Great shot. Yeah, he's just That's the game yeah. now. So now we've reached the point of no return. Five games to three. Simmerink now leads. Agassi must break here. Second serve, points one. So far, matches. Michael Chang leads 54%. Agus is right there. So the best returner in the game right now. Nice up against to do it. A very tough serving, Jan Simmerink. Oh, 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 oh. The crowd's on their feet. Here we go, Andre. It's now or never, buddy. Got tied up right here. That was a good first serve. Andre is reading it, though. He knew he was probably going to go down that T-bone after serving two aces in the last game. Go! Oh, man, that's a perfect serve. Well, he changed it around that time, didn't he? He'd gone down the T on his last service game to serve two aces to finish the game off with. On that occasion, he wrong-footed eggs. He went out wide. 30 well, love. Jan's definitely not choking. He's playing great tennis, playing to win. That was a tight shot. Called long. It's a tough shot. It was right. a tough shot to play because the Off return the came back him. rather slowly at him, and he pushed it deep. 
Another first serve by Jan. He's going to be in there. Andre looks at this as a great opportunity. Oh my. Look at the feet. Let's go back to the footwork again. This is awesome. He got lucky. Yeah, he did get a little lucky here on the return and forced Simric to play another little chip forehand. Agassi's good wheels, though, got him up there. He was anticipating that cross court forehand. The crowd are going wild right now. Brooks into the fingernails. What's left of him? 30 all. Oh, this is great. This is what you came to pay for. This is what you came to pay for. You really, you gotta do it. Oh, he can't even I look at that, <laughs> sir. <laughs> the bender. He went for the bender. Oh man, you're getting nervous here now. He doesn't want to miss the first serve here. Oh, what an opportunity for Andre! Second serve. Here we go. Match point, simmering. Sit on the wide one, Andre. Sit on the wide one. I'm going to take that one away from him. I'm going to sing, signal Andre. Sit on the wide one. Oh, oh. Just kidding. <laughs> well, he had it. Went down the tee. That's where he served an ace the last game. Second serve. He's looking at Agassi again now. You're listening to the experts. Sit on the wide one. Didn't do very much with it. Kept it down the center of the court. Agassi's return came half court and he knocked off the forehand for the winner. This crowd, it just does not know what to do. It is dumbfounded. And boys, your thoughts on that match is a stunning upset here. If you're a young player looking at this, this guy did not choke. He took the challenge head on. Andre, the people were behind him. The guy went out, executed all of his serves, all of his volleys, and believed the entire three sets of the match that he was going to win. Well, uh, Brooke Shields pretty disappointed. I'm sure Andre Agassi and Brad Gilbert uh, disappointed in this effort because he was not happy with the music. He was down that, uh, uh, lost that first set, came back. The crowd thought he'd recover and win the third. And uh, it's been a tough one for him. So Simric wins in the third set, six games to three. So let's throw it down to Vitas Gerolaita, who's now with the loser, Andre Agassi. Vitas? Thanks a lot, Fred. Bad luck, Andre. Uh, what was it in, during the changeovers? The music was bothering you, the atmosphere you know, or something? You know, people come out here to watch tennis. I take pride in what it is I do, and this is an embarrassment to the game. I mean, to have music, like they're coming to listen to some kind of concert on the game changeover. I was telling them, why don't you play music between points? Right? We can all have even a better time. That's not what makes tennis fun, you know? To do some fun things before the mat, when you get out here, it's tennis. If people aren't here to see that, they shouldn't come out at all. I mean, this is an absolute embarrassment to the game, I think. This tournament, this week, with the way they're running, is an embarrassment. You think that detracts to some of the quality of the tennis that's Detract. been played? I mean, I haven't, I haven't hit the ball this poorly in, in a long time. It has nothing to do with my game. I, I didn't, you don't want to come out next round, you know? That's the bottom line, and I just felt so, I mean, it was, I just didn't enjoy being out here. I didn't. It, it was a joke to me. I felt like it was just a show. There, no, this wasn't tennis out here tonight, and 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 I'm 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 disappointed that I didn't go to Indianapolis to prepare for the Open better than this. Well, some of the other players have complained about it. Also, are you going to be talking to the ATP and maybe letting them know how you feel about and some of the other players about you some know, of the changes that they're trying to add? Yeah, I mean, we can you know talk to her blue in the face, but you know they have their ideas. I mean, if they really cared about what the players said. You know, they'd stop listening and do what they think. This is a. I don't remember ever voting on this. I, you know, I don't remember ever doing that. So, you know, I, I even I said to him, can we turn off during my match? And nobody even seemed to know who was in charge of it. So it, that's just the way the tours run. It's an embarrassment to the ATP Tour, too. When, when, you, call, when you called Gail, the referee, to come on in, were you just asking, well, could you just turn it off because the quality of tennis might be a little bit better? Yeah, I was saying, you know, everybody was sacrificing out here. I mean, I didn't think my opponent's game was as good as I played him at the Open before. He's played better than that. But, it, you know, I said, Gail, can we just turn off the music? I mean, that's as simple as that. The match is underway. You know, can we, can we not be so extreme about this and make us have to throw us a curve like this to have to deal with? And he said, there's nothing I can do now. And I just said, wow, well, all right, you know, well, then that's just the way it is, I guess. Listen, let's get off the negative. Let's get to the positive. You played great this year. You're coming off a big win in Toronto. You've been playing great tennis. Uh, what are you going to do to prepare for the U.S. Open? You've been playing well. Yeah, it's true, but I wanted the matches, but this wasn't the right place to come for that. I, to be quite honest, I can't get off the negative. You know, I just finished a losing match, and 
and that's what you deal with. But uh, I got to do the most I can to, to, you know, to get my game where it needs to. My game is fine, but I just got to have some good weeks of practice now. I got two weeks to prepare, and uh, hopefully we won't be listening to music during the changeover at the U.S. Open. You'll be ready for the U.S. Open. Thanks, Thanks. for taking the time. Thanks, Bad luck today. Fred, back to you. Thanks, Vitas. Thank you very much, Andre Agassi. And, uh, Wow. Negative comments there from Agassi as he was very upset with what went on the court. He said it was circus. He did not enjoy it. Jan Simrink's the winner in three sets, 6-3, six, 3-6, three, three, six, six, three. Agassi will sign some autographs. We'll be back with an interview with the winner in just a moment. Thank you. Now that's the scoreline as you look at a big major upset. Andre Agassi, the number four seed here, second round action. And uh, he lost 6-3 in the third to Jan Simerick, who's now down at courtside with our winner. Uh, thank, uh, thank you, Fred Stolle. I'm here with the winner, Jan Simerick. Two months ago, you had knee surgery, but you look like you were moving great today. Uh, has that been a recent thing since the surgery that you're starting to move a little better this week? Um, well, today I moved really good. I mean, uh, I was really pumped for this match. I really wanted to play against Andre. And... Uh, yeah, also the crowd, you know, just the atmosphere that, that makes you move. And uh, I had some problems with movement uh, before this match. I'm not, I'm not so quick, but we're working on it. And uh, today I felt okay. Yeah. You've always been a very good servant baller, but today especially, your delivery seemed to fool Andre Agassi a lot. Was there any specific way that you were trying to serve him in today's match? Uh, well, of course you have to serve well. I mean, uh, it's not just mixing up, but you have to serve. You have to hit a few aces. And, uh, yeah, you have to go for certain shots. But today I felt uh, really comfortable with my second serve, which is really important against Andre, because if you miss your first serve, you have to, you have to put pressure on him anyway, so you have to go after your second. And I served pretty good. Right, we'll so. Was also part of your plan to rush Andre Agassi? You took a lot of his second serves, chipped and charged. A couple of big points, break points, you came in, covered the net really well. Was that part of the plan? Yeah, that's part of the plan. If I'm going to play from the baseline with Andre, I have no chance. So I have to keep the rally short and uh, come in on uh, every ball I can. Listen, it's not easy playing Andre Agassi in front of an American crowd. Uh, they want him to win, but you did not choke. There were a couple opportunities, close games, but you played very tough in the end. Yeah, that, that's the problem. You, you don't uh, think about the crowd. You don't think about your opponent. Just try to concentrate on my own serving, which was really important. If you have the break, you have to keep your serve, and that's it. So I really tried to focus on my surf, and uh, well, today, uh, I think he had the better show, but I had the better shot. Uh, <laughs> Did it feel at all like a Davis Cup match? You know, they're very boisterous, rooting for the American. Uh, you've had some experience playing Davis Cup for the Nellers. Was there any of that type of feel at all? Well. Um, I have to say that in Holland, when we played uh, the United States with the Davis Cup, it was uh, really special. I mean, uh, the atmosphere is, is almost the same as here, but, you know, it, it's country against country, and here it's opponent against opponent, which is a different atmosphere. But still, I mean, the crowd was really good for me also, and uh, I have to thank the people who were cheering for me. Thank you. I talked to Sand Installer earlier, and he said that you did not like the part with the music being played during the changeovers, but today it seemed it didn't affect you. You were playing pretty good, and it affected Andre Agassi. How do you feel about some of the things they're trying to do to involve the fans and uh, make it a little bit more fan happy at the tennis? Uh, it's good. You have to do that. You have to look for certain things, but uh, it doesn't mean that this is, you know, this is the solution for the game. I mean, you have to try certain things, and I had the experience yesterday with the music, and, uh, well, you have to get used to it, and for Andre, it was his first time, and he, he had some problems with it, and for me, it was second time, so I was lucky. Really? Very good tennis under some very interesting conditions. Back up to you, Fred Stolle. Thank you very much, Vitas and Jan Simmerink. A great effort there from Simmerink, an upset there is the scoreline, 6-3, 3-6, 6-4. The number four seed out, needs the match play going into the U.S. Open. And tonight's... Coverage of the, Vol of the Volvo International being brought to you by Volvo. Volvo reminds you to drive safely. Tomorrow night on the Deuce, men's single second round action. Michael Steak takes on Marcello Rios. That's tomorrow, 7 p.m. Boris Beck is also against Roger Smith on ESPN tomorrow afternoon. And coming up next on the Deuce is...